Yes, indeed we are, and we have a fun-packed show today and an audience full of moms. Yay, because we are getting ready to celebrate. Well, you already have to celebrate mom. Mother's but Day. Mother's Day coming up yes. this Sunday. Hopefully you're planning something special for mom, and we got some great ideas for you as well. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. We are starting off today with animals and food. It's a combination that means it's time for a wild night at Zulala at the San Antonio Zoo. I and love this name, night, it's just, so much fun. Just, just sounds like fun, you know? Yes, Zulala. skip through the zoo singing Zulala. And the man himself, <laughs> Chuck Rowe, is here from the San Antonio Zoo. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, I'm gonna sir. ask you, do you la la? Oh, he lalas uh, all, all the time. Well, Zulala like is, yeah, Zoo Lala is this Thursday, May 10th at San Antonio Zoo's tickets on sale now, sazoo.org. Now it's all about food and animals. And, and we have uh, both. We have both here today. Here's one of the animals. Come on mm -hmm. in here, Sarah. We've got an animal, a snake, and we also have tacos for food. Which one of you wants to tackle which? All right, ready? Yep. One, one two. two. I'm out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I not, knew it. Not, I know. He doesn't like not, not He's an not, animal, a fan not a snake person. Of snakes. All right. Well, this is Sarah. She's Hi, a part Sarah. of our animal Hi. ambassador team. Tell us about what yeah. we have here. Yes, yeah, so this is Sumba. He is our Savu Island python. So he's one of our animal ambassadors on our team. Um, one of our many animals that actually goes out into the community to educate uh, people in San Antonio about these wonderful animals that we have here. Uh, so Sumba is actually native to Indonesia on a small single island called Savu Island. Very small range. Uh, he's got these beautiful scales that, if you can see in the light, are oh, very iridescent. Yeah. They almost makes him a little bit rainbow. Um, so a lot of people think the reptiles are slimy, um, but if you want to feel him, what does he feel like? Like a snake. Like a snake. Very <laughs> smooth. Uh, he's got those very beautiful, smooth <laughs> but scales. Yeah, definitely smooth. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, so snakes are actually very important. He is a non-venomous species, so he's not going to pose any threat to us. But these snakes are very important for controlling uh, rodent populations and other pest species. Um, so these guys actually play a really important uh, role in the ecosystem. How how old is he, and how, is that how big he's going to get? Is he going to get big? So Sumba is in his 20s, and so oh, okay. snakes do continuously grow. So he will grow very, very slowly, mm -hmm. um, but he will continue to grow through his lifetime. Okay. So he's one of the animals that you'll see at Zulala. We've got reptiles, but we also have some mammals, oh. and Kara's coming in here with a very interesting mammal. Might look familiar to people in San Antonio, but it's really not. Tell us oh. about that, Sarah. Yes, so uh, this is Rita. She is a three-banded armadillo. So if you guys are familiar with the nine-banded armadillos in yes. Texas, you'll find yes. those. Um, so a similar species, she's actually found in South America. Um, so she Rita. is one of the very few species that can actually curl up into a perfect ball just like Look this. Look at that. Um, so it's perfect armor. She is completely covered. Even those little ears are tucked in, which is incredible. She does not want to come out. Yeah, she does have a great line of defense, too. Yeah. <laughs> now, Sarah was telling me earlier that this part of her head is very interesting. Explain mm. that. Yes, um, so all of this, the armor plating, the bony plating. Mm -hmm. It's something called uh, plates that form osteoderms. So osteoderms are kind of a combination of bone and keratin, so similar like our fingernails. Um, but it's really interesting because other species have this sort of bony plating, but it's very rare in mammals. Mm -hmm. But you'll see it in other reptiles and even dinosaurs who once had them, like ankylosaurs. Which is a nice segue because coming this summer at San Antonio Zoo, we have a dinosaur exhibit, so you have to come out and see oh that. Oh my God! Yes, so so kind of like an ancient dinosaur here. Nice, nice thread right there. All right. Well, very nice to meet you, Rita. Let's quickly get the information up on the screen because Chuck Zulala is happening this Thursday night, it's and it starts at what time? Seven o'clock, seven to ten. Fifty different food mm -hmm. uh, establishments, restaurants, bars. We have three different entertainment stages, including Matt Caldwell. I think you know him. Yes, Metal country Shop. singer Matt Caldwell. Will <laughs> yeah, be there. and Johnny P mm -hmm. and the Wise Guys going to be doing some some. Uh, swing dancing out there, fun for everybody. And our very own David Elder will be out there emceeing because I got to emcee the event last year and it is so much fun, y'all, because the zoo is open at night, so you get to see all the animals walk around, drink the food, or, you know, dr you know dr dr drink, drink, eat, the, and of course, food. well, you could drink the food, you, you know, at some you point. Could. There'll be plenty of beverages out there <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah, so it's a lot of fun, but go to sazoo.org, get your tickets, we even have VIP tickets. All right, let's go ahead and send it over to Mike with some of the food we might drink. Oh, yes, and, you know, and it's so cool being at the zoo at night because all the big cats are, they're lively and everything. All right, Chuck had mentioned about 50 different restaurants, one of them being St. City Tacos and Brenda Zamora. Yes. Chef Extraordinaire is here, and Thank some you. of the things that you are going to be making for Zula La, and, okay, if you like tacos and you like chicken and waffles and syrup. It can't go wrong. Yeah, I know. This really is just can. magic. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, yes. how so do we get started on this? All right, so we've already got the uh, waffle. Okay. And the chicken already is that all you have to do is just grab one and put it in the fryer. Okay, so we've got just what just, chicken, yep. chicken tenders in chicken here. Chicken tender with our own baffle, uh, waffle batter. So just 
Okay. Drop that bad boy in there. What's the uh, secret to your waffle batter? It's my secret. Okay, I knew that. I knew that was the an answer, <laughs> but two of them? Uh, yes, sure. of course, of course, of course. So once that's going and everything, we also have our own uh, uh, sorry, syrup? syrup, thank you. Okay. It's a little spicy, so it'll oh, really? give it a little kick. Yes, Let me just take please give it a go. Oh, that is, yeah, 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 just a just this so. absolutely. So now we grab a little tortilla, we'll put it on the, on the flat top to make sure so that it's a little chicken warm. chicken waffles and tortillas. Yes. Ah, what a great with combination. A little bit of, yes, with some so butter. It's perfect finger food there. The syrup right. and the butter yes. and the chicken all and the it. waffles. I mean, anything can be finger food. Just take all your favorite foods and just yes. mix them all together. Yes. So uh, your restaurant's not been around all that long. No, since it? November. We opened okay. in November and we've been kicking butt since then. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of that, while those are cooking, yes. what else do we have? So on we've the got our here, own so. cochinita pibil. We just actually introduced this. We're going to serve this as Zulala. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever comes in to Zulala will be the first ones to actually try it uh, and then we're going to put it on the menu ourselves Please. Zulala is gonna be the first to try it yeah, well I guess now you will uh, okay. <laughs> go for okay. it okay. Okay. please do I want to be second no we'll, we'll, we'll go we'll do it even uh -huh. so ready okay. there we go. three uh -huh. two, two one. one oh that's good yeah mm. with our pickled red onions oh my goodness mm. there's that yeah that that little tang in there mm -hmm. yeah Good. Oh, wow, that is good. Hey, if <laughs> okay. you're going to Zulala, yeah, that's going to be fantastic. Okay, and this. This is our jerk chicken, mm -hmm. with, and it's marinated. The chicken is, gets marinated, then it gets grilled. We've got our own little ingredients in there with a cilantro lime crema on top of it. Okay, and then just the. This is our award-winning picadillo, actually. We won uh, our placement in Taco Fest this past couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what we want our fan favorite with. Oh, fantastic. All right. Yes. The chicken is cooking, but we have one made right yes. here. So <laughs> this is the chicken tender. <laughs> ready, ready to go. With syrup, <laughs> with butter. Yes. <laughs> and then you roll it up. Yes. And you eat you it. You get it, yeah. In a tortilla. Yes. Oh, okay. my goodness. Tell you what, you, know, you want to try half of this? Okay. Okay, here, we'll go like this. Is that one of the favorites? I'm assuming from it, it is. Uh huh. There we you go. be you be the judge. Okay. You tell me. It's solid. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. With the butter. Yes. <laughs> mm. Awesome. You know, it's like sausage wrapped in a tortilla, but right. Chicken and waffle wrapped there we in go. a tortilla. It doesn't yes. get better than that. <clears throat> I mean, we're carrying it around. <laughs> it's it's now it's going to be its own food group and a national day. There you go. For that. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, if you'd like more information about uh, St. City Tacos, you can go to salive.com. And don't forget about Zoo La La, and that is Thursday night at the zoo. And, of course, Brenda's going to be there making all of these wonderful tacos. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all sorts of varieties of these tacos. Brenda, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Coming up next on SA Live, packing a punch in a cup of joe. There's a new coffee spot on the west side, and we're going to take you inside. Plus, coffee meatballs? Yes. yes, you are hearing right. It's a unique recipe for the coffee-loving mom in your life. All right, coming up on SA Live, we're going to be talking with Olympic gymnast Lori Hernandez. You guys won't want to miss this. It's coming up. At, oh, oh, there she is right there. Hey, just keep watching. We'll be right back. Serious injuries require serious lawyers. We fight. This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good day. We are coming on the air because President Trump is set to announce that the United States will withdraw from the nuclear deal with Iran that was, a deal that was agreed to almost three years ago under President Obama. It is a multi-nation deal called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. It lifted sanctions on Iran in return for a commitment by Iran to curtail its nuclear program, verified by teams of international inspectors. All through his campaign, President Trump railed against the deal, calling it horrible, disgusting. And for his first 15 months in the White House, however, he agreed with his national security advisors, who argued it was better than no deal at all. Those advisors are gone now, replaced by harder line opponents of the deal. The big question right now, how far the president is going to go in scrapping it, whether it will kill the deal. He's already begun to inform congressional leaders that he is pulling out. I want to go to our chief White House correspondent, John Carl, for more on that right now. Uh, the president has talked about perhaps trying to renegotiate the deal. 
but no more, George. We are told that he has begun, the White House has begun notifying congressional leaders that he is pulling out of the deal and doing it extensively, George. This is no half measure. Our understanding is the way this will work is that U.S. sanctions on Iran that were waived as part of this deal would go into place, back in place within 90 days, and then more significantly, so-called secondary sanctions, those are sanctions against foreign companies that deal with Iran, would go into place within 180 days. What that does, George, is not simply take the United States out of this deal, but it also makes it virtually impossible or very, very difficult for the Europeans to remain in the deal as well. Of course, they lobbied hard for the president to remain inside this deal for the last 15 months as recently as just a couple of weeks ago when the president met with the French president, Emmanuel Macron, and just this week, the British foreign minister, Boris Johnson, came to the United States arguing again to stay in the deal. But as you see right there, the diplomatic room in the White House now set up for President Trump to come in and announce that he is withdrawing the deal. I'm here also with our chief global affairs anchor, Martha Raddatz. You were in Iran when the deal was reached. This is a blow to the Iranian regime. It, it's an absolute blow. And one of the things the Iranian regime promised is that the economy would improve over there. That hasn't happened. How much of the blame Il Iran will take from its people for this is yet to be seen. Uh, the estimates are if Iran decided to restart its nuclear program, they could have a nuclear weapon in 12 to 18 months. But most people looking at the situation, who I have talked to intelligence officials, don't believe they will actually do that. They do not have a lot to gain from that right now. Terry Moran, our chief uh, foreign affairs correspondent, also in London. You follow these negotiations as well. The Europeans want this to... Actually, I'm going to stop right there because President Trump is now entering the diplomatic room. My fellow Americans, today I want to update the world on our efforts to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. The Iranian regime is the leading state sponsor of terror. It exports dangerous missiles, fuels conflicts across the Middle East, and supports terrorist proxies and militias such as Hezbollah, Hamas, the Taliban, and Al-Qaeda. Over the years, Iran and its proxies have bombed American embassies and military installations, murdered hundreds of American service members, and kidnapped, imprisoned, and tortured American citizens. The Iranian regime has funded its long reign of chaos and terror by plundering the wealth of its own people. No action taken by the regime has been more dangerous than its pursuit of nuclear weapons and the means of delivering them. In 2015, the previous administration joined with other nations in a deal regarding Iran's nuclear program. This agreement was known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA. In theory, the so-called Iran deal was supposed to protect the United States and our allies from the lunacy of an Iranian nuclear bomb, a weapon that will only endanger the survival of the Iranian regime. In fact, the deal allowed Iran to continue enriching uranium and, over time, reach the brink of a nuclear breakout. The deal lifted crippling economic sanctions on Iran in exchange for very weak limits on the regime's nuclear activity and no limits at all on its other malign behavior, including its sinister activities in Syria, Yemen, and other places all around the world. In other words, at the point when the United States had maximum leverage this disastrous deal gave this regime, and it's a regime of great terror, many billions of dollars, some of it in actual cash, a great embarrassment to me as a citizen and to all citizens of the United States. A constructive deal could easily have been struck at the time, but it wasn't. At the heart of the Iran deal, was a giant fiction. 
that a murderous regime desired only a peaceful nuclear energy program. Today, we have definitive proof that this Iranian promise was a lie. Last week, Israel published intelligence documents long concealed by Iran, conclusively showing the Iranians' regime and its history of pursuing nuclear weapons. The fact is, this was a horrible, one-sided deal that should have never, ever been made. It didn't bring calm, it didn't bring peace, and it never will. In the years since the deal was reached, Iran's military budget has grown by almost 40 percent, while its economy is doing very badly. After the sanctions were lifted, the dictatorship used its new funds to build nuclear-capable missiles, support terrorism, and cause havoc throughout the Middle East and beyond. The agreement was so poorly negotiated that even if Iran fully complies, the regime can still be on the verge of a nuclear breakout in just a short period of time. The deal's sunset provisions are totally unacceptable. If I allowed this deal to stand, there would soon be a nuclear arms race in the Middle East. Everyone would want their weapons ready by the time Iran had theirs. Making matters worse, the deal's inspection provisions lack adequate mechanisms to prevent, detect, and punish cheating, and don't even have the unqualified right to inspect many important locations, including military facilities. Not only does the deal fail to halt Iran's nuclear ambitions, but it also fails to address the regime's development of ballistic missiles that could deliver nuclear warheads. Finally, the deal does nothing to constrain Iran's destabilizing activities, including its support for terrorism. Since the agreement, Iran's bloody ambitions have grown only more brazen. In light of these glaring flaws, I announced last October that the Iran deal must either be renegotiated or terminated. Three months later, on January 12th, I repeated these conditions. I made clear that if the deal could not be fixed, the United States would no longer be a party to the agreement. Over the past few months, we have engaged extensively with our allies and partners around the world, including France, Germany, and the United Kingdom. We have also consulted with our friends from across the Middle East. We are unified in our understanding of the threat and in our conviction that Iran must never acquire a nuclear weapon. After these consultations, it is clear to me that we cannot prevent an Iranian nuclear bomb under the decaying and rotten structure of the current agreement. The Iran deal is defective at its core. If we do nothing, we know exactly what will happen. In just a short period of time, the world's leading state sponsor of terror will be on the cusp of acquiring the world's most dangerous weapons. Therefore, I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. In a few moments, I will sign a presidential memorandum to begin reinstating U.S. nuclear sanctions on the Iranian regime. We will be instituting the highest level of economic sanction. Any nation that helps Iran in its quest for nuclear weapons could also be strongly sanctioned by the United States. America will not be held hostage to nuclear blackmail. We will not allow American cities to be threatened with destruction. And we will not allow a regime the chance death to America to gain access to the most deadly weapons on Earth.
Today's action sends a critical message. The United States no longer makes empty threats. When I make promises, I keep them. In fact, at this very moment, Secretary Pompeo is on his way to North Korea in preparation for my upcoming meeting with Kim Jong-un. Plans are being made, relationships are building, hopefully a deal will happen. And with the help of China, South Korea, and Japan, a future of great prosperity and security can be achieved for everyone. As we exit the Iran deal, we will be working with our allies to find a real, comprehensive, and lasting solution to the Iranian nuclear threat. This will include efforts to eliminate the threat of Iran's ballistic missile program, to stop its terrorist activities worldwide, and to block its menacing activity across the Middle East. In the meantime, powerful sanctions will go into full effect. If the regime continues its nuclear aspirations, it will have bigger problems than it has ever had before. Finally, I want to deliver a message to the long-suffering people of Iran. The people of America stand with you. It has now been almost 40 years since this dictatorship seized power and took a proud nation hostage. Most of Iran's 80 million citizens have sadly never known an Iran that prospered in peace with its neighbors and commanded the admiration of the world. But the future of Iran belongs to its people. They are the rightful heirs to a rich culture and an ancient land, and they deserve a nation that does justice to their dreams, honor to their history, and glory to God. Iran's leaders will naturally say that they refuse to negotiate a new deal. They refuse, and that's fine. I'd probably say the same thing if I was in their position. But the fact is, they are going to want to make a new and lasting deal, one that benefits all of Iran and the Iranian people. When they do, I am ready, willing, and able. Great things can happen for Iran, and great things can happen for the peace and stability that we all want in the Middle East. There has been enough suffering, death, and destruction. Let it end now. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. There you have it. President Trump in the diplomatic room with a broadside against the Iranian regime will now sign papers that will reimpose U.S. sanctions over time on the Iranian regime, saying that this Iran nuclear deal was built on a lie, was a very weak deal, a much better deal, could have been negotiated years ago, but now the United States is pulling out. The president also had a message for the Iranian people, and we are told that this was being broadcast live in Iran as the president was speaking. Terry Moran, we were cut off just before the president began there, but his remarks pick up what I wanted to ask you about. He says Iran will negotiate a new deal, our European allies, he's going to work with them to negotiate a, good, a, a better deal, and that the deal that was reached three years ago was what much weaker than one that could have been uh, reached by our allies and the Iranians. Secretary Let's Pompeo to the is right now going to North Korea. He will be there very shortly in a matter of virtual probably an hour. Uh, he's got meetings set up. We have our meetings scheduled. We have our meetings set. The location is picked, the time and date, everything is picked. And we look forward to have a very great success. We think uh, relationships are building with North Korea. We'll see how it all works out. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But it can be a great thing for North Korea, South Korea, Japan, and the entire world. We hope it all works out. Thank you very much. returns with three U.S. citizens that have been held in North Korea as well. But Terry, as I was saying, we'll all soon be finding out. We will soon be finding out. It would be a great thing if they are. We'll soon be finding out. Thank you very much. Let me make sure the president leaves the room without talking that time now. And Terry, let me let me go back to you right there. The president said a better deal could have been reached uh, three years ago. That is not the way our allies see it. 
Not at all, George. With that signature, the president withdraws the United States from this deal and isolates it, uh, isolates our country from its key allies. All the other signatories to this deal, uh, the U.K., France, Germany, the European Union, China, and Russia, they say they are going to stick with it. They want to save the deal. Uh, they think it's been working. The, the deal has forced Iran to dismantle two-thirds of its centrifuges, give up 98 percent of its fuel, pour concrete in this most dangerous reactor. They don't see a better deal on the table. President Trump has his work cut out for him, and he is working, uh, having now isolated the United States on this, on the trade war that Europeans are very worried about could come forward, on the Paris Climate Accords. They don't see President Trump as a deal maker, at least with Europe, and they fear that by withdrawing the United States from the Iran nuclear deal, he's just made the Middle East a much more dangerous place. But they're going to try and come up with a plan B to save it. And Martha Raddatz, the president clearly has North Korea on his mind as well, talking extensively about the trip by Mike Pompeo, right there saying a date and time for the nuclear summit with North Korea has been reached already. Now, the irony here is that Iran didn't have nuclear weapons, was pursuing them. North Korea has them. Yeah, they're in a little bit better uh, negotiating position on this one, but you can bet that Kim Jong-un is watching this carefully, watching what President Trump is saying about this. And to see a, see a deal ripped up like that, that's got to, Kim Jong-un has to take that very seriously. It does send him a message. I also want to add, George, that Iran right now has the most robust inspection system in the world, and that wasn't good enough for President Trump. It's hard to imagine Kim Jong-un ever agreeing to something like that, the inspection of his nuclear facilities. That does lead to the question, John Carl, at the White House, what is the strategy going forward for President Trump and his administration? Well, there's a very big uh, date ahead, the 180 days when those U.S. sanctions on our allies, on any foreign company that does business with Iran, uh, would go into effect. Uh, there will be a lot of maneuvering, a lot of uh, discussions with the with the Europeans. That is a big step that ultimately would rip up the Iran deal, would end the Iran deal. Uh, so, so that's a big question. And then George, clearly, the president is focused on North Korea. He said the date is set for the meeting with Kim Jong Un. The time is set. Mike Pompeo is back for his second trip uh, to North Korea to to set up this summit. And Martha Raddatz, as we said, the Iranians were watching this as the president was speaking. The big question for them right now is, do they start to restart their nuclear weapons program, or do they hold off hoping the Europeans and others can come to some kind of a new agreement they can live with? I, I actually think that what we'll probably see is the Iranians just trying to ride this out, not restart that program, because I really don't know what they would have to gain in doing that right now. They know they can restart it. They know they can restart it any time they want to if, the, if this part of the deal is ripped up. So why do it now? Why put on more pressure? But I do think they'll try to punish the U.S. in other ways. In those proxy wars in in Syria, in Iraq, in Yemen, that we could see a blowback to the United States. And Iranians Iranians are very proud of their nuclear weapons programs. The people on the street that I talk to. Israeli Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is also speaking to his people right now. Of course, he like President Trump, a strong opponent of the nuclear deal with Iran. This is something he's been pushing for a long time. In fact, the intelligence that the president cited in his talk saying that they had come across intelligence that the Iranians had been pursuing a nuclear program was the, was the product of an Israeli raid early this year. But Terry Moran, I want to go back to you one more time. Uh, the Europeans do have a big decision to make here as well. Not only do they try to reenter some kind of negotiations working with the president, but do they abide by the sanctions of the United States is uh, is is going to impose right now? Do they risk secondary sanctions by the United States, or do they try to have some sort of business with Iran? Right. That, that's the key question. And what John Carl just said that this is this is the the maximal way that President Trump could have done this. He's going to make it incredibly difficult for European governments to help their companies do business in Iran. They've already explored ways of actually reimbursing their companies for sanctions uh, that might be put on them by the United States. An extraordinary development for some of our closest allies. But I think that is a dead end given just how completely President Trump uh, has taken apart this this agreement. And what they're now really concerned about here is the possibility that what President Trump is really after is not another deal, 
but he and John Bolton, his new national security advisor, want regime change. They're afraid uh, of another war in the Middle East, this time to dislodge the regime in Tehran, and they don't want to see that here at all. Extraordinary consequential move from President Trump today, withdrawing the United States from the Iran nuclear deal. We're going to continue to cover this all day long on ABCnews.com, and of course, a full report tonight on World News Tonight with David Muir. Have a good day. This has been a special report from ABC News. Well, it's not often that you get to be in the presence of a real life superhero. And today we get to do just that. Now I'm gonna go down a list, make sure I got it right, okay? Team USA gymnast, gold and silver Olympic medalist, season 23 Dancing with the Stars winner, author and fashion designer. And by the way, she's only 17 years old, you guys. The amazing Lori Hernandez, thank you so much for being here with us. And of course, for helping out the Salvation Army. Now tell me a little bit about what you're doing over here. Um, so today I am at their luncheon. I am able to speak on stage for about 20 minutes and, and give um, my input on hope and perseverance and on hope that I could touch someone in the crowd. But it's definitely an honor to be here. Um, as a little kid, my mom always reinforced helping others, and so this is definitely important to me. And talk to me about your mom, um, because I know that you, I've seen videos, you have a really good relationship with your mom, yeah. but how has she inspired you to, to be who you are today? Yeah, well, I mean, I think as a little kid, it definitely, um, everything's a tribute to both of my parents. I mean, my mom has been able to travel with me and do all, everything, but uh, without my whole family, it wouldn't have been possible. Um, as a little kid, when I said I wanted to go to the Olympics, instead of saying, like, you're crazy, what are you talking about? They were like, okay, how can we help you get there? And that was their first way of looking at it, which has helped me look at different situations in a different way. That's awesome. Now, I have these other questions right here, okay, but we're just gonna throw those away right now. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get a little crazy here, but I just wanted to, you're in training mode, right? I heard that. Sort of, yes. Yeah. I am. Now, tell me, uh, can you show me a move, like a gymnast? I want to be a gymnast, okay? So okay. Can, you, can you show me a move, like an intro to, to being um, a gymnast? I mean, I can't do too much because I am in Well, you can help me out here. Yeah, yeah, help me out here. Um, I'll teach you how to properly finish a skill. Yes, that yes, sound yes, that sounds great. Okay. okay, so here's what you have to do. Okay. Your arms go above your head, and actually, if you're new to gymnastics, okay. your hands do a little thing. I always just tell little girls who are just starting out to do the number four and, and spread your fingers out. But, well, I, since you're a guy, you finish with your arms to the side. Okay, arms to the side. Okay. Yeah, but then if you're a girl, then your arms go above your head and your fingers do the little hand thing. Yeah. So then you would just do both hands, right? You do both hands. So is it kind of like a, like, is it like a curtsy thing where you... Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works. Good. Okay, okay, I'll give it. Give you a 10. Oh, 10? Yeah. 10. And speaking of 10s, uh, what was it like dancing with the stars? I mean, you got you to did. dance with Val, right? I did. And so, and you, and you won. I mean, coming right off the win in Rio, you got to come out and then dance, do dancing with the stars. What was that like? That was uh, a completely different experience that I'm used to. I mean, as a gymnast, there's just a few changes that I had to make from being barefoot for 11 years in a gym to being in three inch heels in a ballroom. And also, when I'm out there competing, like, I'm only worried about myself. But when you're on Dancing with the Stars, it's you and your partner, and you're both working together. So that was something that I had to get used to, and I had so many different lessons that I learned throughout the show, too. Laura Hines, thank you so much for being here in San Antonio and for helping out the local community. And you guys can get more information on her books coming out. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. You want to do a finish with me here? You can do a finish. Okay, here we go. In three, two. Now that she said finish. that about... Just, you know, the number four, that's all I'm going to watch now. Right. That's all I'm going to look for, is seeing everybody with their, their fingers spread like that. So, right, What a finish. The full yeah. interview is, of course, on our website, salive.com. And, of course, David has to learn how to, you know, <laughs> stick, the, stick the landing right there and do the, the final finish. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what he has to worry about, the exactly. finish. <laughs> all right, it's, mother, it's a Mother's Day gift idea that tugs at the heartstrings. Yes, indeed. Serenata para las madres. The concert, meant to honor all moms, is happening this weekend at the Majestic Theater featuring several mariachi performers. Alexa Posa is one of those performers, and she is here today to give us a taste of the concert. I heard her warming up, and wow, folks, you aren't going to believe this. Take it away. Me gusta el mariachi y me gustan los grupos. Me gusta el guapango, también lo norteño. Me gusta la banda de corazón. Yo 
Yo soy mexicana y a mucha honra lo digo yo. Me gustan los hombres de todos colores, grandotes, chiquitos, flaquitos, gorditos, no más que me quieran igual que yo. Yo soy mexicana y al viento lo grito, yo soy mi bohemia, alegre y picara, sí señor. Ay, yo nací pa' cantar, le canto a mi tierra, mi raza querida, digan lo que digan, soy mexicana de corazón. Me gusta la banda, me gustan los grupos, me gusta el guapango, también lo norteño, me gusta el mariachi de corazón. Yo soy mexicana y a mucha honra lo digo yo. Me gustan los hombres de todos colores, grandotes, chiquitos, flaquitos, gorditos, no más que me quieran igual. Yo soy mexicana y al viento lo grito. Yo soy mi mujer, me alegre y picara, sí señor. Ay, yo nací pa' cantar. Le canto a mi tierra, mi raza querida. Digan lo que digan, soy mexicana de corazón. Digan lo que digan, soy la güey. Speedy Cash is the name you can trust for delivering cash fast. Speedy Cash has competitive rates, fast, friendly service, and most importantly, they're state licensed. Relax. Speedy Cash has you covered. I love that Speedy Cash. Will your AC system survive another hot Texas summer? The Buyer Boys are offering a whole system changeout starting as low as $4,700. We have special financing, huge rebates on qualified systems. The Bar Boys have been bending over for South Texas for over 28 years. You could win 50 at 5. Wait for Circle K's secret word of the day during KSAT's News at 5. Then enter it on KSAT.com for a chance at a $50 gift card. Every entry wins a Polar Pop. Corner Store proudly becoming Circle K and KSAT's News at 5. It has changed my life in every way. I mean, I, I kind of... I have a zest for life again, and I kind of lost it for a while. I thought it was just getting old, but really it was depletion of hormones because as soon as I was treated, bam, I mean, I'm back to normal. I don't have the night sweats. I, I'm not achy. I'm not tired. I'm not irritable as much as I was. There's just so many things that it's done for me. Call HWC of Texas today at 210-679-2500 for your free consultation. This once in a lifetime bomb to begin. Three, two, Sorry, guys, it went out again. Houston, we missed the takeoff. Life is too short for unreliable entertainment. Get AT&T Internet and Direct TV with over 99% reliability for $65 a month for one year and get a $100 reward card. More for your can't miss a thing thing. That's our thing. Visit att.com. If you've been seriously injured, call the law offices of Fidel Rodriguez Jr. today. In South Texas, a reputation is earned in the courtroom with hard work and dedication for each and every case. Props, gimmicks, and slogans do not matter. We have over 30 years of experience representing individuals and their families. Call the law offices of Fidel Rodriguez Jr. at 224-1057. 224-1057. One zero five seven. Serious lawyers for serious injuries. Want to lose weight with no starvation, no exercise, no fad diets, and no disappointment? Then get to No Slim for Life. Right now, you could lose up to 100 pounds for just $99, all services included. Visit slimforlife.com. When you turn on the hot water, you just expect it to be hot. On the older water heater, that's not always the case. 
Call the Bar Boys today and save $100 on a complete water heater replacement. The Bar Boys, been and over backwards for South Texas for over 28 years. Where can you get cash fast? Right here with a title loan at Speedy Cash. Get up to $10,000 cash on any year, make, or model. You can keep your keys and keep your car. Apply today for a title loan at Speedy Cash. Love that Speedy Cash. They are known for their grilled cheese carne gasada, which David Elder says is probably one of the greatest foods ever invented by mankind. But today, Pitmaster Emilio Solis is here to make a brunch recipe yes, sir. that is colorful and light. And like I was saying, I don't think of a, a Pitmaster. I mean, you're cooking slabs of beef, right. making a chicken salad on a croissant. So. <laughs> exactly. All right, how do we get started? Uh, so we start out with our smoked turkey breast, which is, was smoked for about two hours, 225. Okay. You know, traditional salt and pepper. And so we just chilled it and cubed it up. Go ahead and throw that in the bowl. All right, that goes in here. It and while there. we're mixing this all up, how's the uh, cocktail? I'm on there? it. Okay. Yes, lime, this is a champagne. cherry lime champagne. <laughs> yes, and it's rimmed with uh, sugar and lime zest. Lime zest. Yeah, we will have those uh, uh, for brunch also. You look those so satisfied. Are, that looks amazing. I thought we'd really relax. So we had some candy pecans. Minutes. We okay. made those last night. We got some uh, celery because you got to have celery. Mm -hmm. uh, dried cherries. Ooh. What you can do, dried cranberries if you want. I just like mm -hmm. the cherries. Uh, we got some grapes there. Dump all those in. I love a chicken salad that has all. You've got it's got to be fresh stuff like you know, sweet, and, the, and the nice chunks and everything. And in then here. of course red onions. Okay, that's always a good flavor. Uh, let's do and then about two or three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Not too much because you want it light and sweet, light and fruit. Right. Maybe one more. Okay. Boom. And then one good t uh, dollop of the Dijon. It's a whole grain Dijon. It's a mm -hmm. lot of flavor, a lot of texture. It's really nice. Okay. Boom. That's beautiful. Uh, uh, some rosemary. All of this. Some dry. Yeah. Just throw it all in. And there. just dried rosemary. Just dried okay. rosemary. And then a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. Not too much. There okay. Perfect. Perfect. And the pinch of salt. Pinch okay. Of salt. And while I'm mixing this up, you have got a soup to We've go got with a soup. that. We've got a soup. Which, again, the soup. flavors, just the description of it. Here's your croissant. Is making my mouth water. So. And so for the soup, we have a summer squash bisque, which we made last night. There's uh, leeks and uh, shallots. You know, it's all pureed and they're made really nice. Summer squash. What we do is, oh, I forgot. A little bit of goat cheese in the bottom of it, just a nice little dollop of goat cheese, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. which is just, you know, it's a creamy, it's an yeah, awesome flavor, especially with this. With the it up. Oh, yeah. And that, and little, now, that little tang to kind of complement yeah, the, exactly. the smoothness of the. Uh, and then, the so squash. something a little different that not a lot of people do is grapes. Nobody really thinks of cold grapes in a hot bisque, but really? that's what we're going to do, and it's. It's amazing. The sweetness of the grapes, the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the uh, earthiness of the, of the goat cheese and the bisque, it just it works really well together. Is there any other, you know, aside from grapes that you wouldn't think of that would, you know, kind of go in a hot... Uh, really, any kind of sweet, uh -huh. sweet fruit, you know, you can do the uh, cherries or cranberries. Um, I like to use a mixture of grapes, uh, you know, the, the yellow or the green grapes. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. grapes. Well, that's the thing. A lot of times people don't think of mixing the, the savory and the sweet together oh, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. certain dishes like and those this. flavors, sweet and savory, I mean, they marry together beautifully. So. Okay. I got All a right. bowl there for Fiona. I got a bowl here for you. All right. And there is that soup Ooh, and that great chicken salad. I'm going to take a little nibble of this. This is yours right here. And so for uh, Mother's Day, you are open? Yeah, we're open for Mother's Day. Uh, we'll be brunches from 10 to 3 o'clock um, or until we sell out. Hopefully we do stay until 3. I love the mm -hmm. grapes. The grapes with the goat cheese? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so when that grape pops, it just gives you that nice, oh, yeah. cold sweetness in there. And again, with the chicken salad, you've got the different mm. textures and the, you know, the hunkiness of the, the right. cubed oh, yeah. chicken. Yeah, we'd like it to be very, uh, like and your grandmother made it, you know, very home style, very chunky. Mm. We we'll want you, we want you to know everything that's in there, every ingredient that's in there. And where are you located? We're located at 1012 North Floors. Okay. Yeah, right outside hey. of downtown, about 10 minutes from here. And you are going to have the um, grilled cheese carne gasada for Mother's Day? We won't have that one for brunch. No, mm. that, we won't have that one. We will have the brisket hash, though, which is a very popular dish. Uh, I think we brought that last time we were here. Oh, brisket hash. Okay. Yeah. And it's blackberries, jalapenos, onions, brisket. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. gosh, that soup is great. All right, Amelia, <laughs> thank you. For more information on King's Highway Barbecue, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, we will be back. Your Cody Pool promises to make any day more exciting. Cody Pools. Make your Mother's Day. Save big on something special from Ross. From gifts that fit her style to gifts that bring a smile. Happy Mother's Day begins at Ross. You gotta go to Ross. Are you struggling to manage your eczema? 
If you've tried different eczema treatments and found they don't work well enough, you may be interested in a research study that is underway in San Antonio to evaluate an investigational medication for eczema or atopic dermatitis. Participants will receive all study-related care and medication at no cost. To learn more, visit MySkinStudy.com or call 210-686-6400. Do you suffer from tired, achy, swollen legs? People often think it's a normal part of aging, but you could have varicose veins. The experts at Medical Vein Clinic have helped thousands get rid of their varicose veins. They use state-of-the-art equipment and techniques, all covered by insurance, and their outpatient treatments, so you walk in and walk out. Ready to love your legs again? Schedule your free screening by calling 210-622-8000 or visit medicalveinclinic.com. This is Alice. She has the AT&T DirecTV bundle. I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD, on demand, and the sports channels are included. DirecTV Select doesn't include sports channels, and I had to get a cinema connection kit to watch on demand. And I love Spectrum's 24-hour local news channel. I don't get that. No, you get an ugly satellite dish. Get Spectrum TV $29.99 a month. Call 844-536-2999. Spectrum Internet starts at 200 megabits with no data caps. My starting speed is only 50 megabits. Spectrum's four times faster. Get Spectrum Internet $29.99 a month. And Spectrum Voice has unlimited nationwide calling with no additional taxes and fees. I'd switch, but I'm in one contract for TV, a second one for internet. I could pay hundreds to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts, and they'll help buy out yours. I'm calling Spectrum. Spectrum TV, internet, and voice, $29.99 a month each. Call 844-536-2999. If you want to save big on dresses for every occasion, you've got to go to Ross. Summer is almost here, the sun is shining, and you may be spending more time outdoors. You know what else that means? Allergies. Sinus sufferers, you know what I'm talking about, but there is an opportunity to get some relief. Dr. Anand Shah from the American Sinus Institute joins me to talk about a solution. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Fiona, for having me. I know a lot of folks out there suffer from allergies yes, here in San yes, Antonio. Yes, absolutely. What is the solution? Well, in the old days, um, which wasn't all that long ago, we had more aggressive drills and things like that. Now we have the balloon procedure for the sinuses, which is a bit more. It's not as scary. Not as scary, <laughs> a bit more user friendly. Okay, <laughs> and so what exactly it, it does that procedure entail? Well, um, we, we have a very, I actually have a little demo here. It's a very delicate, uh, forgiving guide wire that lets us get right into the sinuses. And then we can open up the sinus from the inside, almost like an angioplasty, if that makes sense, of the sinus. So how can folks find out if they're a candidate? Well, we're going to, um, we have some pretty classic symptoms on our website, pain, congestion, pressure. We're also going to have a informational seminar where patients can, individuals can come in and just sort of uh, uh, talk to us, at the very least get good information. And I think that's going to be on Wednesday evening uh, that we'll have that out to the public. Now there are so uh, uh, there are so many people who have benefited from this procedure, sure. and we have one of your patients here now with Mike. Yes, this is Tomas Salinas, and boy, from what we were talking about beforehand, you just didn't have allergies and sinus problem. What was it like for you? I woke up on a daily basis to where I had sinus pressure constantly. I would wake up. My daily routine was taking a sinus medication just to get the relief from there. So I couldn't even wear my glasses at this point. These you glasses the were a little bit too heavy. The pain was so much. The pain was so much. It's all right here. Okay, when you went into the American Sinus Institute, first of all, what was your experience like? Professional. Professional from beginning to end. I explained everything thoroughly. I knew what to expect. Was it proof for the surgery? You didn't have any questions, anything like that? Really? I did not have any questions because he explained everything really good. Okay. He has a disc uh, uh, of an image of sinus okay. on there. 
and he explained everything thoroughly to me on there, so I understood perfectly. So I'm a visual person, so once he explained that, I knew I understood what exactly what he was saying. And after to do. the procedure, I assume, well, you're wearing your glasses again, and you're smiling about it. Yes, so no I more am. pain, no more medicine. No more pain, no more medicine. I have not taken any sinus medication since the surgery. Wow, that that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tomas. So, uh, Fiona. All right, now is that reaction typical? We, uh, we, we like to think, uh, we, we survey our patients before and after the procedure and the, just the, the results have been very favorable and uh, that's statistical information, not just anecdotal. So the results have been good, have been, have been, uh, have been pleasing. So make sure to check out American Sinus Institute's free patient seminar this Wednesday, May 9th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Dr. Shaw, of course, will be there to answer any questions you may have. The address is on your screen, 9150 Hebner Road, Tower 1, Suite 340. You can call 405-7665. That's 405-7665. Or head to americansinus.com for more information. It's the great outdoor sale at Family Leisure, patio furniture, spas, fire pits, grills, smokers, and more. Summer heat can be deadly, and for many elderly and disabled, air conditioning can be too expensive or not an option. Donate a new 20-inch box fan to Catholic Charities Project Cool. Just drop off at any San Antonio area Chevy dealer. Let's reach May's goal of 5,000 fans. Thursday, Castro Bill's Project Cool Drive is live on KSAT. So drop off and say hello. It'd be cool if you did. KSAT Community, in partnership with your San Antonio area Chevy dealers, Energy Transfer, and University Health System. Our three contestants are all at the big Ikea table. Contestant number one, impressive knife skills. But contestant number two, fights back by using fresh parsley. Make room for the judge. What's your dream? At Ikea, we help you live it. Make the dream yours. Tick tock, let's go, come on. Unlike haggling with a mechanic, Aspen Dental offers dentures starting at $2.99, so you don't get stuck paying an arm and a leg or anything else. Schedule now at 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Summer, 12 weeks of... Hey, he deserves it. But kids can lose more than two months of learning over the summer, which is why I enrolled him at Sylvan. Their personal approach helps him stay ahead of the curve for when school starts back in the fall. And kids typically see up to three times more growth than if they hadn't come to Sylvan. And I get some time to myself. Mom, I'm hungry. Time's up. Call 1-800-EDUCATE for your free consultation. Planet Fitness is celebrating Mother's Day with a very special sale. From now until May 11th, Bring in a photo of your mom and join for free. It can be an old picture. It can be a new picture. Just show us your mom and join for free. Then pay only $10 a month. So if I bring my mom's picture to Planet Fitness, I can join for free? That's incredible. That's right. From now until May 11th, bring a picture of your mom and join for free. Happy Mother's Day from your friends at Planet Fitness. Sale ends May 11th at midnight. The best journeys make you wonder wander. They invite you in and fill you up and never let you go. That's the feeling you'll get when you take the new Caribbean journey at your Texas State Aquarium. Discover a bigger world. Brought to you in part by our partners H-E-B and Whataburger. Unlike being stuck with a bad haircut. You look amazing. Aspen Dental makes sure you're satisfied with a denture money back guarantee. Thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Schedule now at 1 800 Aspen Dental. Our three contestants are all at the big IKEA table. Contestant number one, impressive knife skills. But contestant number two, fights back by using fresh parsley. Make room for the judge. What's your dream? At IKEA, we help you live it. Make the dream yours. There she, there's Jen, and this, most everybody here is related to Jen in some way, shape, or fashion. <laughs> that's Jen's mom right there, and that's her sister, aunts, cousins. Are you related early, to Jen? Probably in some way. Okay. <laughs> Were your ACs?